cloud. And then I'm going to start the slideshow. <laughs> oh.
Good afternoon, fellow Rockets. If you could wave my panelists so I can know that you hear me, perfect, perfect. Well, welcome to the 2021 University of Toledo Alumni Association annual meeting. We had certainly hoped and wanted to have met in person this year, but in order to make sure we keep people safe, we decided to go virtual one more year with heavy optimism that this time next year, we will be in the Chester Alumni Pavilion under a tent with great sunshine and enjoying some wonderful food and camaraderie. Um, again, it's a wonderful occasion. We've had an outstanding year. Some of the accomplishments that have taken place you will hear about shortly. This really is a celebration of our alumni association on many fronts and our ability to connect with each other, connect with students, um, and really continue to support our alma mater. Now you may be wondering, who is this guy that's talking? Um, my name is William Pierce, I go by Billy, and I serve as the Associate Vice President of Alumni Engagement and the Executive Director of our Alumni Association. But more importantly, um, I think it's it, what you see underneath my name is really my connection with the institution as a two-time graduate of this place that really has embraced me as one of its own and is really a big part of, of my family um, and maturity as, a, as an adult um, and many things um, in my life. So I am proud to be before you today and will tell you we have an exciting program and that we hope you all will enjoy. One of the benefits of doing it virtually is that we have the ability to reach um, our Rocket alumni uh, around the country and around the world. We have 141 people that were registered to join us today across 17 states. And so when you think about this event is typically held in person. I would venture to say that some of our alumni may not have traveled back to Toledo for the event. And so moving forward, we will be again incorporating virtual components to just about every event that we do and can so that we can make sure all of our alumni stay collect connected, not just in the US, but around the world. So we have four countries represented uh, in our registration list today. Uh, we have a person registered from Antigua and Barbuda, which is down in the Caribbean, uh, an alum from India, Indonesia, and Saudi Arabia. So we think about a global network, the virtual platform really allows us to, to do that. Um, and we continue, will continue to work hard to make sure we connect with more of our uh, fellow alums. 
all of this happens because I have the pleasure of being surrounded by a great team of, of people. Um, and as many of us know who are leaders, we are only as good as people we are surrounded by. And so I have the pleasure of working with all the folks that you see here listed on our screen. Um, hopefully there are some familiar faces, but there may be one that you do not recognize. Um, and that's the second on the left from the top, uh, Miss Amanda King. Um, she joined us at the end of March. She is a UT graduate and she came to us from the Toledo Zoo, uh, the number one zoo in the country, I might add. Um, and she worked a lot on events and special events for the zoo. And so we are very pleased to have her on board. Um, we thought we had a large learning curve for her, but I tell you, she picked it up right away and is already doing some amazing things. Uh, but this is our alumni engagement team. These are the folks who plan um, the over 175 events that we do throughout the year. They coordinate all the things behind the scenes so that you and our alumni um, and friends and donors have a great experience when you interact with us. This is also a very special year because we celebrate our 100 year anniversary as an alumni association. And so hopefully you have seen this logo throughout our email materials. Some of us have it on a tire, um, but this really is a, a cause for a celebration. And I think how fitting that coming out of the year we just had, we get to celebrate moving back to in-person events and engagements with our 100 year anniversary. To give you a little history lesson for those who may not know, uh, we worked with our archivists and, and dug up some pieces of information we thought you might find entertaining and, and perhaps um, enlightening as we think about our 100 year anniversary. And so we were able to locate this alumni bulletin that was dated May 1935. And within that bulletin, we talked about, there was a conversation about defining the steps moving forward as a permanent organization. But as you see here, it says one day in June of 1921. We still haven't narrowed down and figured out which day in June, but we know in June of 1921, more than 100 of our fellow alumni including representatives from the former Toledo Medical College, attended a banquet in Secor Hotel, um, adopted the constitution, elected officers, and thus our association uh, began. Um, you see in the second paragraph, uh, the, the reason why we got together was because we wanted to support this particular um, approval of a bond issue um, that led to financing for some of the original investment in our campus buildings um, uh, that you now see today. Again, you see several hundred banded together um, and organized. What I also found interesting is we saw some, the folks who were the original presidents of the Alumni Association. So as we talk about our current president and pass the gavel for our incoming president, um, I think it's important that we reflect back on our history as an association and identify those folks who really were the pioneers for the start of our organization. So wanted to share that with all of you. This is a quick history lesson. Uh, we could not have annual meeting and not talk about why and when we were founded and by whom. And so we'll be sharing more of this information as we go on throughout the year. Um, one of the other unique things that we've done is worked with a company here in town, Team Sports. Um, they are owned by the Everleys, several of the Everleys, our, our University of Toledo alumni. Um, they were the company we worked with this time last year to produce the Toledo mask that many of you supported. Um, and I will tell you that effort generated about $12,000 that they donated back to the student emergency fund to help our students through the pandemic. So um, team sports has been a great partner and they um, are always looking for ways to support students at the university. And so what we've asked them to do is put together an online store for us. Um, because I've heard over and over again in my two years here that, gosh, we don't have enough apparel for our UT alumni. And so they put this store together and we'll share the link um, in the chat window. We'll also share it in a, an email survey you'll get tomorrow. It'll be on our website. We'll blast it out to all of you. Uh, but there's a couple of cool pieces of items that are out here that you might find pretty neat. You see the one in the middle has our 100 year logo on it. T-shirts, sweatshirts, um, you name it. Yeah. Now, why is this even more important? Well, again, working with team sports, uh, they know one of our goals is to increase the amount of scholarships that we award to current UT students. Right now, we award in excess of $68,000 to our students. Our goal by the year 2026 is to increase that to $100,000. We think about one of our missions is to connect with current students. 
We know that financial barriers are a big reason why students either complete their degree or not complete their degree. And so we want to do our part to help. Um, Team Sports has agreed to once again donate a portion of the proceeds from every item sold back to our Alumni Association Scholarship Fund. So your support is not just only wearing your rocket pride, um, but a portion of those proceeds come back to our Alumni Association Scholarship Fund. So we're pretty excited about that. We've got a couple other things that are coming up um, and in terms of making membership renewal even easier. In the coming weeks, we're going to launch um, a campaign for automatic membership renewal. Uh, and for those that renew, you'll receive that nice uh, um, commemorative cooler tote bag you see on the right side of the screen. Partner with a company in town, Performa, uh, and one of our, another one of our alumni um, works at that organization. And so we're going to make it really easy for our members to stay members through a quick and easy renewal process. So stay tuned for that um, as we move forward. So there are a lot of exciting things that are going on. And again, we can't thank you enough. We are here because of your support. What I'd like to do now is introduce uh, our current president, uh, Nancy Miller. Nancy is the chief magistrate for the Lucas County Probate Court. Um, she earned dual bachelor's degrees in psychology and sociology in 1977, a master's degree in guidance and counselor education in 1979, and earned her Juris Doctorate in 1988, all from our University of Toledo. She has led our alumni association during a time of tremendous uncertainty and change, but did so with grace, poise, and an eye for our future. So if you could please join me in welcoming the president of our alumni association, the Honorable Nancy Miller. Thank you, Billy. Uh, it's great to be here today. I wish I was with all of you. Um, well, this year is certainly uh, not how I would have envisioned it. The excitement of football, tailgates, basketball, trivia nights, and of course, in-person events like homecoming and the annual meeting were greatly missed by me and I know by many of you. But when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And that is what your Alumni Association has done. Billy and our wonderful staff recreated themselves and the association and made necessary adaptations to adjust to a new way of doing business. Some of which, as Billy said, we will take with us even after the pandemic is over. We are fiscally sound. And you can thank me later for that, Mr. Demetrica. I'm sure that makes you happy. And we have managed to connect, as Billy said, with alumni locally, nationally, and globally. And I thank all of you for being here today. A book club, virtual wine and beer tastings, a history of UT, and many educational events were welcomed during our time of isolation. Among our accomplishments were implementing a three-year strategic plan that included input from last year's board, our current board, and the alumni engagement team. The plan serves as our roadmap for the future and will help us to better live our mission to engage and connect alumni, students, and friends with the university. We executed 102 alumni events, mostly virtual, since the beginning of the fiscal year through May 14th. This is really remarkable, given that at the same time last year, 139 events had been executed, many of which took place prior to the pandemic. As I previously mentioned, we successfully launched our first virtual book club, thanks to our co-sponsor, the University of Toledo Federal Credit Union. The book club currently has 244 members, consisting of alumni, retirees, and friends, and will be starting to read their third book soon. If you are interested in joining, uh, you can sign up on the Alumni Association website. We updated our Alumni Association logo with the support of University Marketing and Communications. We've worked to modernize the design, comply with ADA standards, and create logos for all of our affiliates and chapters while maintaining the presence of that iconic bell tower. Finally, as noted, the Alumni Association continue, continues to be in solid financial condition in spite of a sharp downturn in the market during the fourth quarter of our 2020 fiscal year. 
We've recently completed another thorough and clean audit while maintaining our rainy day fund and increasing the amount of scholarships we award to current Utilito students. I could continue on with more of our successes, but I just wanted to give you a brief snapshot of what we've accomplished since our last annual meeting. I look forward to seeing all of you in person soon so we can celebrate, educate, and cheer on our rockets. The Art Fair, the Solheim Cup, and a victory over the Fighting Irish are now in the picture for us, so we need to celebrate and look ahead. Thank you for hanging in there with us. We hope that you will continue your membership, help recruit students, and give of your time and treasure throughout the coming years. Your support means so much to our students and for our ranking. Today, I ask you to look back at what the University of Toledo gave to you and to look forward to our future Rocket alumni and what it means to them. Thank you for allowing me to serve as a board member and as the president of this wonderful alumni association. It's now time to recognize some very deserving groups and individuals. To do so, I'd like to introduce Pete Davis, Chair of the Awards Committee and Chair of the Scholarship Committee. Thank you, Nancy. During a year when we saw a dramatic change in how we engage each other, several of our affiliates did an amazing job of staying connected with alumni. On behalf of the Awards Committee, I am honored to announce the 2021 Affiliate of the Year. That's College of Medicine and Life Sciences Alumni Affiliate. In 2020, the affiliate hosted, co-hosted, or was part of 22 events that catered to alumni and current students. Events ranged from virtual webinars on how the pandemic impacted health and healthcare to collaborating with other affiliates to coordinate apple picking at McQueen's Orchard and Halloween Family Day at uh, Flett's Pumpkin Farm. They also spearheaded an effort entitled COVID-19 Chronicles Alumni Reflections, a project to document the heroic efforts of our alumni on the front lines and behind the scenes of the pandemic. The affiliate has eight scholarship funds, 12 scholarship funds that are sponsored by and or established in honor of College of Medicine and Life Sciences alumni, as well as student gift program fund, which supports a robust program for building relationships with all current students, including residents, fellow physician trainees, with a goal of strengthening loyalty to their alma mater. Joining us today to accept the award is the Vice President of College Medicine and Life Sciences, or, Sciences Alumni Affiliate, sorry about that, Dr. Pat Metting. Dr. Metting earned her bachelor's degree from the University of Toledo in 1975 and her PhD in physiology from the Medical College of Ohio in 1980. Dr. Metting. Thank you so much. It is indeed my honor to accept this award as Affiliate of the Year on behalf of our President, Dr. Mohammed Musa, the entire board of the trustees of the College of Medicine and Life Sciences, as well as our membership of almost 9,500 alumni. It is especially rewarding that this recognition comes at such a momentous crossroads in our collective history, this year's 100 year anniversary of the Alumni Association next year's 150 year anniversary of the first graduating class, or no, next year's 150 year anniversary of the University of Toledo, sorry, and the upcoming 50 year anniversary of the first graduating class from the College of Medicine and Life Sciences, the former Medical College of Ohio. Like everyone confronted doing business in a pandemic, the College of Medicine and Life Sciences alumni affiliate has had to think outside the box to engage our alumni, students, and friends. Thanks to the Office of Alumni Engagement's leadership and technical expertise, we were able to use WebEx, Zoom, and other virtual platforms to hold most of our meetings and events since March of last year. 
as Mr. Davis just mentioned, we had the privilege of partnering with many uh, organizations across the university, six different alumni affiliates, the UT Retirees Association, Women in Philanthropy, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, and the College of Medicine's Dean's Office and Development Team. Um, this not only resulted in increased attendance and engagement, but also developed important relationships with our fellow stakeholders across the Alumni Association and the university. So we want to thank all of our co-sponsors for your collaboration and special thanks to our alumni coordinator, Kim Kesters, who was instrumental in forging these collaborations and executing our events. You can see her there in the photo on the left as you're facing it. As has been stated in this year of the pandemic, the alumni of the College of Medicine and Life Sciences, as well as our faculty, staff, student and resident physicians have made extraordinary sacrifices and contributions to our communities locally, as well as across the country and the globe. And as mentioned to highlight highlight these contributions, we initiated a new project, the COVID-19 Chronicles Alumni Reflections, and we encourage you to visit our website to read the testimonials of our uh, alumni and their contributions during the pandemic, and also to view an interactive map of the world that was created to tag the current location of over 9,000 alumni of the College of Medicine and Life Sciences. So these are just a few notable points from our application. I wish there was time to share information about our scholarships, student initiatives, future goals, and more. And we'd love to hear from other affiliates and chapters about your innovations and best practices. I know there's a lot we can learn from one another and to borrow a common saying from these unprecedented times, we are all in this together. In closing, thank you again for this tremendous honor. The College of Medicine and Life Sciences alumni affiliate is humbled and grateful to be a part of a great college and this great university and alumni association. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Manning. Uh, congratulations to the College of Medicine and Life Science affiliate. Good job this year. So um, unfortunately, the, the pandemic did have a negative impact on the ability of our regional chapters to host events. So we, or, we ordinarily recognize the chapter of the year, but, but we are not doing that this year and we're, when we hope to do it again next spring. So volunteer of the year is presented to an individual who goes above and beyond on behalf of the Alumni Association and the university. Their tireless and selfless, selfless efforts support our mission to connect alumni and current students to each other and the university. So I am honored to announce the 2021 Volunteer of the Year, Dr. Mohammed Musa. Dr. Musa featured in the October 2020 edition of the Alumni E-Magazine and the alumnus of the University of Toledo is an associate professor of emergency medicine at the University of Toledo and the director of the emergency medicine residency program. He earned his bachelor's degree of science in biology in 2001 and his doctor of medicine in 2004. He spearheaded the empathy and medical practice webinar held last spring and was part of several videos used during virtual events and use social media platforms to promote news and information about his students and alumni. He is always willing to support any effort to engage alumni, is a strong and vocal advocate on wellness and giving back to the community. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Musa. Thank you very much for that wonderful introduction. I am honored and humbled to be with all of you. And as Dr. Metting mentioned, this is a combined effort. Uh, thank you so much for this prestigious award. You know, generally I'm not one for attention or accolades, but this particular award is one that I will publicize because of the word volunteer. It represents service to others, to the school and to our community. 
And I accept this award because volunteering indicates action of oneself without expecting anything in return. I am proud to be an alumnus of the College of Arts and Sciences, the Honors College, and of course, the College of Medicine and Life Sciences. This world-class institution has given me the opportunity to serve my patients in the community, and I want to return the support in every aspect to the University of Toledo. The University of Toledo Alumni Association and all of its affiliates have done wonderful things in the past year in this COVID climate. But I also urge the association to focus even more on service to the community, both inside our walls and outside our campus walls. Service to the public school systems, to the free clinics right now that are hosting and receiving desperate uh, members of our community, just like the University of Toledo Community Care Clinic that Dr. Rich Pat, Richard Pat leads, and educational programs that lift students from all walks of life. You know, we can make this university grow through diversity and inclusion and equality by inspiring these rising students in Northwestern Ohio to do great things. There are many talented alumni in this group, including lawyers and engineers and doctors and pharmacists and PhDs. And if we do not make it central to give back to this university and community, then we're essentially going through the motions without delivering the humanistic aspects that we all can deliver. You know, my wife, Sabrina, and I are proud, proud graduates of the University of Toledo. And we've got four amazing kids, Ali, Emil, Lena, and Isa, that are going to be rockets. They're going to be rockets. Um, so straight up, I'm saying it up front. And, and encourage your friends and your families and colleagues to send their kids to this university. Uh, this is a world-class gem in the corner of North Ohio. And let's start a campaign and a pledge from our employees and our alumni to send at least one of their kids to the University of Toledo. I've been only given a couple of minutes to speak about this. I could speak for hours uh, as, uh, uh, as it was introduced. And um, I urge every single one of us to find ways to become service leaders to inspire those around us. It not only helps our communities, but it really helps us as well. Um, I'm gonna be around, look me up, call me, text me. I wanna be involved. This is just the beginning and let's go Rockets. Thank you very much. Dr. Musa, thank you very much for that. Very inspiring. We appreciate all your efforts and, and help. Um, go Rockets. So I'm gonna move on. So th this year, the Alumni Association Award awarded over 68,000 to current U University of Toledo students. As many of us receive scholarships during our time as students, we know how important it is to remove financial barriers to complete a degree. It is now time to recognize this year's scholarship recipients.
Pete, All right, we've thank got you. one more special thank you that uh, we're going to show our audience. You give me one okay. second. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing for just a moment. I was going to thank you for that wonderful music. Oh, you can you can proceed and do that if you'd like. All right, thank you, Billy, for that wonderful music and the slide presentation. No problem. Okay, let me. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get this one more time. My name is Maya Beauregard and I'm a senior at Fayette High School. I am attending the University of Toledo in the fall to major in chemical engineering and I was a recipient of the Alumni Legacy Honor Scholarship. I am very grateful for this opportunity and I would like to thank all the donors who made it possible. I am so excited to be a Rocket and I can't wait to see what I can do within my college and my community. Hello, members of the Alumni Association. Thank you for selecting me for the Susie and Ted End Scholarship for the upcoming school year. An award like this helps fulfill the financial security for a student like myself so that we can focus more in the classroom. Once again, thank you for the award, and I hope I can perform in a manner that you deem fit. Hello, my name is Jacob Lombardi, and I'm a first year electrical engineering student at the University of Toledo. As the son of two UT alumni and the brother of a third year UT mechanical engineering student and a University of Toledo student myself, I truly admire campus and all the support that it has brought me. Being the recipient of the UT Alumni Association Membership Dues Scholarship is truly a luxury to me, and I wish I could thank each and every one of you for your contribution and generosity. Hi, um, my name is Malika Davis, and I'm a rising senior studying psychology and chemical dependency counseling. I just want to say thank you so much for granting me this Atkins Scholarship. Um, with this scholarship, I'll be able to dedicate more time towards my studies for my final year of undergrad. Also, it'll help assist me in my goal of providing psychotherapy services as well as access to resources to marginalized groups. So again, thank you for your consideration and thank you so much for seeing my potential. Hi, I'm Kelsey Gilmore and I just finished my first year in the speech language pathology graduate program. I'm grateful to be the recipient of the Alumni Association Membership Dues Scholarship and I appreciate everyone who has contributed to this fund. This scholarship will help me to better afford tuition and books my last year of college, and I'm so excited to begin my second year of the program. Following graduation, I will become a member of the Alumni Association, and I can't wait to help other students as well as become a member of this community. Thank you, and go Rockets. Wow. So let's, uh, let's have a congratulations to all our scholarship recipients and I'd like to thank the awards and scholarship committees and all their hard work in reviewing all the scholarship applicants. So I'm going to turn it over to Nancy. Nancy. Thank you Pete and congratulations and thank you to all of the award recipients and scholarship recipients. Um, that's what we're here for. At this time, we want to recognize and thank those individuals whose terms on the Alumni Association Board of Trustees are coming to an end. Each person will receive the tower print momentum as a token of appreciation for their service to the Alumni Association. I personally want to thank each of you for your commitment to the Alumni Association. It was a pleasure to work with each of you, and I am really sorry we could not have worked um, more closely uh, throughout this year. 
We're going to proceed on to those individuals. Robin Whitney, our immediate past president of the Alumni Association. Dr. Melinda Birdsall. Dr. J.J. Dye. Deb Dower. Josh Flores. Stephanie Guthrie. Cindy Kerr. Dan Steele, Craig Teamer, Ryan Wright, and Barb Yavorsik. I would also like to recognize the service of our student government representative, Anjali Fadki, and we will be giving her a framed certificate. Thank you. Thanks to all of you for your past, present, and future service uh, to both the alma mater and to the Alumni Association. Your service on the board has helped us uh, make us a better organization and a much stronger organization, and we really appreciate you. Next on the agenda, the Executive Committee and the full board met early this year to approve several updates to the bylaws of the Alumni Association. Any updates also have to be approved by the general membership, and therefore we are going to put the updates to a virtual vote. You each should have received a copy of the bylaws with the updates highlighted, and they will now appear on screen. Voting can be done uh, by selecting in favor or opposed to the right of your screen in the polling section. So all in favor or any opposed? Oh, there we Madam President, we have a unanimous in favor vote for the adoption of the bylaws updates. Thank you very much to everyone who voted. It's now time to elect the new officers and trustees of the University of Toledo Alumni Association. I would like to introduce the chair of the nominating committee and immediate past president, Robin Whitney. Thank you, Nancy. Um, you know, as I reflect on my time on the board as, as president for the 2019-2020 uh, school year, I feel so honored to serve. And I just, you know, it, it is remarkable uh, the wonderful people that I've been able to meet and interact with. Um, so many that were, were just honored as uh, past board members, outgoing board members. But, you know, the staff and the entire board and more importantly, all of the alum and the students that I was able to meet while serving on the board. You know, I had the uh, wonderful opportunity for most of my tenure as president was pre-COVID. So I was able to host um, the uh, pre-game events at the Kester Alumni Pavilion and go to alumni events before, you know, everything locked down globally. And it was just really inspiring to see all of the dedicated and proud alum or, or even just proud fans of the University of Toledo Rockets that would show up uh, and, and, and cheer on our team. So it just uh, gives me great pride to be a part of the association. I will always feel connected with the board and I will certainly definitely stay involved with the Alumni Association. So um, just it's been a real honor to serve with all of you. Um, it is also now my pleasure to present the slate um, for uh, that was recommended by the nominating committee. Uh, and that nominating committee is made up of past presidents of the Alumni Association. So the slate of officers should appear first. And I'm gonna go through not only the slate of officers, 
the current board members and the incoming board members. I will um, not mention uh, what school or their graduating year, but you can see that on your screen. So in the interest of time, I'll just uh, mention the names. So as president this year, um, my, my friend for many years, Dave Dimitrico. Um, first vice president, Pete Davis. Second vice president, Jeff Williams. Secretary, Andre Swinnerton. Treasurer, Kate Matz. And past president, the honorary, honorary Nancy Miller. Our current board members, we have Nicole Beck, John Cook, Dawn Humphrey, Joan Leviton, Michelle McMaster, Matthew McClure, Ambria Michalichek, Keith Nelson, Michelle O'Brien, and Lynette Warning. And then uh, our incoming board members listed here, and we've got great photos of everyone. Dr. Shaza Othmany, I hope I pronounced that close to correct. Um, Brett Babcock, Jennifer Dawson, Christian Delbaccio, Jana Gesner, Lillian Lager, Colonel Mark Langenderfer, Dr. Martino Harmon, the Honorary Tom Mackin, Evelyn McKinney, Carol Thomas, Anna Walker. I think that is our entire slate. I will now request a motion and a, and a second to accept the slate as presented by the nominating committee. And then Second. Wonderful. And now we're going to go through that same voting process, I believe, to make sure we get everybody can vote either in favor of that slate or opposed. We'll wait here for a minute for uh, Billy to tally the votes. Robin, we have unanimous favor approval to adopt the new slate of officers and trustees. Wonderful. Great. So we are approved. So thank you, everyone. And I will hand it back over to Nancy Miller. Thank you, Robin. And uh, we are so fortunate to have had your service on the board and all of the work that you did on strategic planning. And uh, it has been a real pleasure to serve with you. And I have learned a great deal uh, from your management skills. Thank you, Nancy. I know you're not going anywhere, but um, <laughs> we'll miss you on the board. <laughs> Following your unanimous approval, I am now pleased to introduce the new president of the U Toledo Alumni Association for the 2021-2022 school year, Mr. Dave Dimitrica. And Dave, I will give you the symbolic pin and the gavel will be passed on to you. So you will be able to adjourn the meeting and start the meeting and, and um, make people be quiet when uh, you need them to, I guess. Fortunately, I didn't have to use it too much on you. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Possible it will fall off as soon as I put it on. There you go. Congratulations. Dave is currently the president of Demetrica Jacobs Engineers here in Toledo. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering in 1980 and his Master of Science degree in Civil Engineering in 1983, both from the University of Toledo College of Engineering. 
Dave is a member of the executive committee and a very active member of the College of Engineering Alumni Affiliate. And we are very fortunate to have him as our incoming president. And I look forward to serving one more year on the board uh, with him at the leadership helm. So I will now turn things over to you. Thank you, Nancy. And thank you, all the fellow alumni who put your trust in me for the next year. It's an honor to, to be your president. The first thing that I want to do as your new president is a tradition of recognizing the outgoing Alumni Association president, Nancy Miller to my right, with the past president's pin and gavel. Nancy? Since you're past president, you can't use it on me anymore. <laughs> but I get the gavel back. That's nice. Thank you very much. And it is an honor. I'll see how that works for you. Yep. So I'm going to drop everything. <laughs> That's okay. Short stop. That's okay. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm stepping into something that I've watched people do. Nancy, for the last year under extreme circumstances, Robin transitioning from what we used to call normal into those extreme circumstances. I hope I've learned well and I hope I can continue. Billy talked about the use of technology that we've had to learn over the last 14, 15 months. Hopefully, as we get back to in person, this technology, as Billy mentioned, will be used more as a tool to supplement our in person events. I'm looking forward to meeting each one of you as we, as the country, as the world opens back up. I think Ohio's had a, an announcement this past week, which is going to make it a little bit easier for us. The first thing is the Art on the Mall. It's going to be a little bit different this year. It's going to be here at the Center for Alumni and Donor Engagement on Door Street across from the Inverness Club. I'll be here. I, want to, I hope to see and meet as many of you as we can. Football with the tailgates here at the Kester Pavilion for the home games. And I understand there's plans being made for tailgates at the Notre Dame game, at the UMass game, and at the place down the road when we beat them there. Whoop on them like we did this past year. <laughs> Whoop. The basketball being able to see our teams excel and to join in with one another. I'm really, those of you who know me know I'm kind of a people person. I'm looking forward to getting back to normal as best we can. I'm looking forward to working with Billy. Billy, you and your team have done tremendous work over the last year. And hopefully I can supplement what you guys do in a way that we can make this association, our association, stronger. Again, I want to thank you all for this opportunity. And like the old Admiral once said, don't start no wars, don't sink no ships. Hopefully I can leave this in a better position than Nancy has left it to me. Thank you.
thank you. This meeting is scheduled to go till one o'clock, but in a true engineering efficiency, <laughs> I'd like to end it early and ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? TOL? EDO. 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 Thank you very much. Well, I thought that went well. Until he tells us we're off the record.